All right, guys. Here's an update on my Banshee uh, VGT controllers. Um, when I first started putting them together, the, the actuation of the wall wasn't where I wanted it. It would jump. So basically, you'd have, let's say, starting out at nine centimeters. Once you hit like 10, 15 pounds of boost, it'll jump to uh, 12 centimeters. And then once you hit 15, 20 pounds, it'll open up a little bit further and a little further and a little further. So my problem was with that setup, it wasn't really linear and it didn't cause a fluid motion. So as you're building boost, once you hit uh, the cutoff for whatever nine, nine centimeters was, so you're building, 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 it opens up, your boost would drop down, and then you'd build up again, hit the next wall, little setting, and it'll drop down again because the turbine's slowing down, and then it'll keep on going and so on. It wasn't what I wanted. So I finally figured out the correct codes now I have a full linear, nice fluid motion. So um, it's currently set for my truck, but uh, it'll actually go a little bit further. Um, right now it's set right around seven centimeters. Um, the reason why I have it set to set seven is because if it's more than seven, it creates excess uh, back pressure and it increases the pressure inside the, the cylinder walls. And if you're not careful and you're Forcing around, trying to show off your buddies by making your uh, your engine whistle or the uh, turret the exhaust whistle, you could potentially damage your piston rings and uh, severely damage your engine. So I have mine set to seven. So no matter what, it'll only close down to seven centimeters with my programming. And then once I hit about ten pounds of boost, it'll slowly just start opening up. And I have it to go fully open at roughly twenty-five centimeters at thirty pounds of boost. Um, it might seem like a big turbo for a, a small 4BT, but on my uh, engine I have a supercharger off an M122, oh, M122 supercharger off a GT500, and I actually make about 5 pounds of boost, roughly, between 3 and 5, um, depends if the engine's hot or not, uh, pounds of boost. And then from there I can actually have this turbo fully open, and if I'm going 45 miles an hour down the road, I can completely light the turbo. So, having that 7 centimeters, it just lights it almost instantaneously all the way up. My boost gauge is only 35 pounds, and I can completely flip it around to the zero um, without even thinking about it, so I gotta be careful. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at with it right now. I'm still playing with uh, the information from the, um, the actuator. There's a total of 8 bits. And it actually gives uh, an engine temperature, or well, actually the water temperature that goes through the, um, the actuator. And it also gives a feedback on the amount of pressure or resistance that's being pressed on the actual wall. So my plan is right now I don't have an electric fan. So I'm going to use um, an aftermarket fan mounted to my radiator. I'm going to use a code from this to activate um, a digital on off and my controller. The controller then is going to flip a relay which will then turn on my electric fan based on the information coming from the actuator. Um, as far as the information for the resistance, I'm still playing around with that. I'm not really too sure how to understand it or read it. Um, but once I get that, I'm planning on using that for the uh, same thing as measuring your back pressure or drive pressure. I'll be able to take that and hopefully find a way to measure that into a, a PSI or into some other simple understanding of how much force it's taken to hold this open to its current position. Um, so that's two other avenues I'm still tinkering around with. But uh, as far as I know, the, um, the CAN information that's controlling this should also work with the, uh, the 400 series and the 500 series as long as you have the, the green and yellow um, CAN bus, which is, I believe, high and low. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually not really too hard to figure out once you actually understand. It's actually really simple. So, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video.